Hello YouTube. Here's another video uh, on the Fat Moto series bikes. This is going to be about setting up a uh, battery system so you can have lights, headlight, tail light, stop light, turn signals. So you uh, you can go the uh, rechargeable route with blinkers and lights and they work until they don't and they seem to uh, degrade over time uh, after so many charges on the battery they keep getting weaker and weaker they last less time and less time anyway this system it's going to be where you can have a built-in battery pack and use your uh, drill motor battery. So you just keep your battery charged. Even buy a spare one, keep it charged, and it's ready to go on your bike when you're ready to go ride and have... Uh, blinkers, taillights, headlights, whatever you need. Anyway, my system consists of uh, this battery adapter. And all I did was uh, drill a hole right here, <clears throat> countersink it, so it doesn't interfere with the battery. Uh put a bolt through and all that is is a inch and a half conduit hanger get it at home depot or lowest for a buck and a half and spray painted it black so it blends in and mounted it this was like 12 14 dollars anyway all it is is a, a positive and a negative that's your power source now, I'm running 18 volts. It's probably better to run 18, 20, 24. The, the batteries are, uh, have more juice in them than, say, a straight 12 volt. So, in theory, they should last longer between charges and give you more, uh, more use. So, anyway... Since mine is an 18 volt, I had to put this little thing on. Now it's mounted the same way with a uh, with an inch and a half conduit hanger. And uh, here, let me open this up. This is just a little waterproof case I got for a couple bucks. Now what you have in there is. Uh, The uh, battery converter, and what it does is it converts an 18, 20, 24 volt down to a 12 volt. So you come in here, you have an in with the 18 and an out with the 12. And I got a fuse here. And that's my power out to feed my lights. It's, it's pretty simple. Now, if you run a 12 volt, you don't need this. You can just go straight off of here with your 12 volt power. Okay. Let me show you what it looks like. Now, I run the uh, 18 volt Harbor Freight Warrior. Basically because uh, it's cheap. I needed it around the house. Cheap a little drill motor. And uh, God, I think the kit comes with a, a light. And you can buy these batteries with the light for like 10 bucks. Anyway, it's a cheap setup. And uh, works pretty good. Okay, here, let me show you. I put it in. All right, now the battery's in, so you're energized. So I come up here to my switch. We turn on the switch. Okay, now I got power going to 
my blinkers. Check it out. Okay, now these blinkers, if you're going to buy blinkers like this, make sure you buy sequential. They sequentially light like a blinker. If you don't buy sequential, you're going to end up with this type, which look exactly the same. Only these must have, <coughs> excuse me, a flasher. So that means you'll have to wire in a flasher. I used to have mine right here. And I got rid of it because they kept breaking. They were prone to, they were, uh, prone to a vibration. So every time I turned my blinker on, it would light, but it wouldn't flash. And that's no good. You, when you turn the blinker on, you want it to blink. So I took those off and got sequential. That's what I run now on all my bikes are sequential. You don't need a flasher. Turn it on, it flashes. Pretty simple. Let's go left. Okay. That's it. Now, uh, I bought this kit. It's actually made for an electric bike, but it'll work for uh, 12 volt systems all the way up to 48 volt systems. And it consists of uh, this little headlight, which believe it or not, this little headlight is bright. And it has a built in horn. Okay, then it comes with this tail light, brake light, and turn signals, which I'll probably mount up in here. I'll build a little bracket and mount it up in there. But uh, anyway, then it comes with the, uh, the switch, which is exactly the same as this switch. You know, it's got the headlight power on, it's got the horn, and it's got the left right. Now, I could replace this switch with this and just have one unit. But that means I have to unsolder, unwire all of that. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put this switch on here too and use it as headlight and horn and keep this one as my left right turn signals. All of these things connect. Also, this thing has connections for, I can get brake levers that will turn the brake light on in the back. Okay, this whole setup, the headlight, the switch, tail light, was like uh, $28. And it'll work 12 volt. I hooked it up to 12 volt, it works. So all I have to do is mount my switch, mount my tail light. I already got the headlight mounted. Connect the wires, feed 12 volt to it. And I got a bright headlight. It doesn't look that good. It doesn't look good like the big motorcycle style headlights, but it works. Works really good. In fact, it's very bright. And it's got a built-in horror. So you'll basically be pretty much street legal. Tail light, brake light, rear turn signals, horn, headlight. It is missing the front signals. It doesn't come with this kit. But, uh, okay, that's about it. These videos tend to go on kind of long and get complicated. But really, it's not that complicated. Uh, it's just basic wiring and a piece of cake. And when you're done with this battery, you pop it out, go put it in the charger or your drill, and you're good to go. Okay. I will talk to you later.